Hey everyone, this is Matt from Smart Online Tutoring and today I want to talk to you about blogs and how they can help your online tutoring business and get you more students. So I want to start by showing you one of my own blogs from my online tutoring business, British English Online. And as you can see, I'm here on the blog page and the first thing that you can notice is that I have a big image here demonstrating what the blog is about and a title and a little bit of the blog with a continue reading button just here. So if we click the continue reading, this will take me into the blog post itself and I can scroll down and we can see first of all that there's a short amount of text here followed by longer content here. So what kind of blog post is this one? Well, it's an interview. This is one type of blog that you can write to generate more traffic to your website. So the more traffic you can get coming to your website, the more likely people are to contact you, try a lesson with you, and ultimately become a paying student. So let's look at some of the key features of this blog post and how it can be useful to achieve this goal. First of all, we want to think about the actual title itself. So I've gone for top tips for learning English. The reason I've done that is because I want to include these keywords here, learning English. Top tips indicates what kind of content the blog post will be about, but the important words are learning English. I know that my potential students are going to be searching these terms on Google and other search engines. So I've included that in the title. I've also included it in the image itself. And also I've included it in the first line of the blog post. This is important because when Google or any other search engine is looking at your blog post, crawling it or searching it, they're going to be looking for the keywords within the title, within the first sentence or two. So it's important to try and include it at the beginning um, and within the text as well if possible. So I've got my title, my image and my keywords included in the first sentence. And then we can have a look at the content itself. As you can see, it's an interview style and I've written out the interview between me and Monica about a topic, which is top tips for learning English. So if you scroll on down, you can see that there's quite a lot of text here, all relevant to the subject that my students are interested in. And you can notice here some red writing. This is actually a link. So this is something else you can include in your posts to generate interest for the reader, um, to provide value, um, and also search engines like when you include external links. So things that take people from your website to another website, this is good for your SEO as well. So if I was to click on this link here, um, this would simply open up the Macmillan Dictionary, which is something that I recommended in the blog post. So if we scroll a little bit further on, you can see that I've also included a video in this post. This is one of my YouTube videos um, and it's embedded within this post, which means if I was to click play here, it would play the video itself and run from YouTube. I'm just going to pause that. So um, you can see I've also got share buttons at the bottom for people to share um, within social media, some related blog posts of mine there, um, and the option of leaving a comment um, from anyone who's visiting and reading the blog post. 